Hello, strong Wisconsin women. And hello to the strong Wisconsin men standing next to you. And greetings to folks in the legislature where I have served, and I know those fights that go on, and to tell you how much respect I have for each and every one of you as legislators to put up with the malarkey, I think our vice president calls it, um, that goes on there, and the false information and everything else. Uh, it is uh, an incredibly difficult job, and I thank each and every one of you for all you have done in this last legislative session to stand up and speak truth to power. My little conversation with you today is supposed to focus on the assault of on women when it comes to equal pay for equal work. And that issue is fundamental to who we are as women because in the reality of this world today, it is economic power that becomes so important. And when we are denied basic economic power by being paid less for the same work, we are being denied our rights as citizens. And, and, and this isn't just, this isn't just a women's issue. This is a family issue. This is a children's issue. It is a community issue and it is our state's issue. And we have gone from being on the right side of history in terms of progress when it comes to women's rights, moving forward to ensure that people are treated equally regardless of gender. And yet at the same time, we have seen an assault on all that progress we have made in Wisconsin during this administration of Governor Walker. The reality is that women only make 77 cents on a dollar that's earned by men for like jobs. 77 cents on the dollar. Recently they've done studies of college graduates, young women who have spent four years probably accumulating debt as we've heard and want to get a, find a role in the workplace. And these young college graduates who sat side by side with men in our colleges and universities are being paid only 82 cents on the dollar. This is wrong. It is wrong for us as women to be doing the same work as men and yet getting paid as much as 20, 25% less than our colleagues of a different gender. It's figured that about approximately $200 billion could be placed in the economy excuse me, if we were to have equal pay for equal work. Wisconsin is losing millions of dollars as a result of people being underpaid, women being underpaid primarily because of the bias that still exists. And now, despite our progress, Governor Walker has eliminated state pay equality provisions that, that allow women a recourse and redress of grievances. Instead of recognizing that we should create a legal system which provides women and others with opportunity to seek equality in the workplace, we are cutting back on those opportunities and making it more and more and more and more difficult. This is wrong. We need equal pay for equal work and we need to have the legal tools in order to be able to ensure that that's the case. We don't need to have essential tools being taken out of that toolbox, but instead we need to ensure that our court system has doors that are open to each and every one of us when it comes to these kinds of unfair issues. Whether it is in the boardroom or whether it is on the factory floor, women deserve equal pay for equal work. Indeed, all human beings deserve the equal pay for the pilots that are standing next to them. And factors where people may discriminate should not enter into that equation. 
So today I join everyone in both celebrating women's equality and indeed some gains we have made, but recommitting myself, as I'm sure all of you are recommitting yourselves, to ensure that equality issues will move forward and that we demand that we have opportunity to ensure that every woman in the state of Wisconsin and throughout America can get equal pay for the work she does. Thank you very much.